Thank you, Steve. Former Assemblymember William Boylan was to be sentenced today for, among other things, cheating you, the taxpayer, on his expense report. It's now been postponed until October. We tracked him for years and showed you what he was doing. And now, because you paid for it, we are looking into the per diems and expense reports of another Assemblymember, this time William Scarborough of Queens. And we're not alone. William Scarborough, right up front in the Assembly Chamber and right up front when it comes to putting in for expense money. Almost $34,000 in per diems in 2012, 28 grand in 2013. By his own admission, his per diem expenses are now under investigation by the feds. We obtained all his per diem and expense records for the past three years, and they show a rather interesting pattern. After the assembly adjourns for the year at the end of June, William Scarborough, who is from New York City, comes here to Albany almost every single week, often, though, for just a matter of hours. In the second half of last year, 2013, he came to Albany 20 out of 26 weeks. Each member has to decide how they want to run their office. Uh, some people feel comfortable uh, leaving their office for six months at a time. I don't. Scarborough does something that many other lawmakers do not do. He includes some receipts with his per diem submissions. No receipts for hotels or meals, but he does include some receipts for tolls. And those receipts for July through December show he often shows up late one day and leaves early or in the middle of the next day. But that's enough to put in for a day and a half of per diems and mileage money, about $450. I was here. The receipts show I was here, and I'm entitled to get reimbursed. What really stands out when you look at some of these expense reports and receipts, as I have, is that sometimes Scarborough arrives here in Albany well after midnight and leaves that very same day. He is here for just a few waking hours, but he puts in four per diems as though he had been here for two days. Let's take two consecutive weeks in October as examples. On Tuesday, October 15th, he put in for $172 per diem. His receipt shows that he crossed the Throgs Neck Bridge in Queens at 11.31 p.m. There's no receipt for the Albany end of the trip, but the Throgs Neck is two and a half hours away, meaning he couldn't have arrived here in the capital region until sometime after 1.30 a.m. He left later that same day he arrived. The following week, same thing. On Thursday, October 24th, he was at the Throgs Neck at 10.59 p.m., which means another post-1 a.m. arrival in Albany. He was back at the Throgs Neck at 3.25 in the afternoon, which means he spent less than 12 hours in Albany, and you'd have to assume a big chunk of that was spent sleeping. Do you see the taxpayer maybe being frustrated? You arrive here well after midnight, you're here for just a couple of hours, and boom, it's 450 bucks out of their pocket. <laughs> You don't know what I was here for. I don't. You're telling me about something last October. I probably had a meeting of some sort. So what would that meeting have been? We asked Scarborough and the Office of Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver for Scarborough's schedule for the days he was in Albany last year. We had no luck. We filed a Freedom of Information request for his schedule. It came back denied. Joe Morelli is the Assembly Majority Leader, second in command. I asked him if the reimbursement system, basically an honor system, has to change. There need to be more accountability. Well, I, there is accountability. I think if there are questions raised about whether or not there have been abuses, that's legitimate. And I think if law enforcement is concerned that that's the case, or the state controller or those who are charged with looking at that, then I think they needed to bring it to our attention and, and, and work with us. If there are going to be changes, they need to work with us on what they should be. And while we can't get our hands on William Scarborough's schedule, we can tell you this. And what may have been the biggest assembly vote of the year, the late night vote on medical marijuana, Scarborough was nowhere to be found. Earlier that week, he insisted the feds are barking up the wrong tree. I think that the people need to understand how the system works. If I'm here, I'm entitled to get reimbursed. It's that simple. It's not a slush fund. It's a reimbursement for money that I laid out. Scarborough, by the way, racked up nine grand in Albany expenses while the assembly was not in session last year. We still don't know if he stays at a hotel or eats in restaurants while here. No pattern of receipts for that. We don't know what business he was doing while he was here, but I can tell you this. In November and December of last year, there were nine legislative hearings here in Albany on days that Scarborough was here. I've got the attendance records right here. He showed up out of those nine meetings at two of them. There was no comment from federal and state authorities when I asked about the status of the investigation into Mr. Scarborough's per diems.